So I thought I'd try and make a little tutorial on how to program your keys for an AU Falcon. And I believe it to be the same for the B series as well. So to start with on this car, I had no keys. If you jump onto eBay, you can buy this set here, which is a door lock and two keys. So the keys are cut for this lock. Uh, you also get the ignition as well. The problem is these keys don't come with the smart lock chip in there so if you go on ebay again you can buy two of these keys and you do need two of them to program it but these keys actually come with a chip installed so i'm going to show you how to program these keys and use these keys now to program your keys you're going to need an obd2 link so i use this one here i bought this one i believe it's about 89 dollars and then you're also going to need a Foreskan subscription. So Foreskan is a software here. It's really helpful. You can use it to diagnose any codes that you have on your ECU, reset uh, codes as well. Step one, all you're going to do is chuck your plug into the OBD2 port and plug it into your computer. Now with that connected and the new ignition in, turn the car on and then Come over to Forescan and click connect. You can read this if you like, I just click yes. So I've already set my car in here, it's my silver ute. So just click yes, it's gonna run through some diagnostics, there's a few codes there. What we're gonna do is come over to the service functions, click on there, go Pat's programming, and then hit play. What you're going to do with the keys that have the chip in them, so they're not cut to the lock, you're going to place it into the electronic key reader thingamabob. I'm going to try my best to show this, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to go Arrays and Program Keys. Please turn the ignition off. Okay. Make sure you got your other key available because you have to do this in a, in a few seconds. Click yes. Within 10 seconds of the doors, uh, you can pause it here and read this, but basically the doors are gonna cycle on and off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the keys here. So we're gonna pop this one out, put the other one in, and that's gonna read the two keys. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're gonna click yes. Doors cycle, turn it on. Doors lock again, turn that off, swap the keys over, do it again, turn it off, good. There we go. So that's gone through the cycle there, so click OK, Click OK. Please turn the ignition on, but don't start the engine. OK. OK. So now it runs through this procedure here. This can take roughly about 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll check in closer. Sweet. Click OK. Awesome. So that should be done. Please turn the ignition off. Turn it back on without starting. So now you can see that it's got two keys stored. All right, let's see if it starts up. Here hasn't been run for a while, so it doesn't sound too healthy, but it starts. So there you go. That's how you program that. Now, the other, the other thing to do now is with the key in here, just get a, a cable tie, cable tie that in there, and then you can tuck that away under the trim there. So that's how I've been running my ute. Keep the key in there, tuck it away there, and then you just use the keys that fit the locks. If you found that helpful, give us a like and subscribe and check out my other content.